Hello, this is Jane Tolbert and it is day three of my animal communication adventure. Today's lesson was all about having a heart to heart with our animal companions, literally. So today we learn how to access our own energy field, to feel it for ourselves and to have a means of opening that energy field so that we could use that to flow energy and flow communication to something else, an animal, another person, anything. And so that we also had a way of enclosing that energy so we're in charge of our own energy field. And, and the theme of the whole lesson was about using heart energy to connect with our animal companions. So opening our hearts, sending information and receiving information. So we did various activities to practice feeling, having an undeniable experience of feeling our own energy field. And I definitely uh, felt it was almost um, a magnetic sizzling, crackling, experience for me and then we had to open our heart center and then transmit to our animal companion a color and it was chosen for us we would transmit purple and I'm not a huge fan of <laughs> purple but I did manage it and my purple was a bit I suppose flat and then we were to ask our animal companion our pet to flow, to reflect that purple back to us. And it certainly was reflected back by Sparky. Whether it was Sparky reflecting it back or me imagining it, I don't know. But I got, it was like glitter, it was like purple glitter. And it was kind of, my flow was kind of controlled, I suppose. It was like a big river and it certainly had edges. Whereas what was reflected back to me was like, Worlds. It was far more free form. So I had an experience. I had an experience. I don't know what it was. And I'm not that confident that it was to do with Sparky. It felt like it was me. The next exercise was to get our animal companion to send us a colour. So nothing to do with me. I was just to open up, open up my heart center, set an intention, ask if it was okay, did you know Sparky want to communicate with me? And I had him in my mind's eye, as well as sitting next to him, and not much was happening. And Asia, Asia Voigt, the program deliverer, the host, was talking and it was fabulous, you know, she was really creating the optimal conditions for this to happen but not much was happening. And I got a range of colors, a kind of red and orange to start with, and then a green. And earlier when I had visited Sparky in his box, his favorite place is a box, he actually looked green. He actually looked green. But in this exercise, not much really was coming to me. So what I did is I got up and I went to the kitchen to carry on the exercise. I was listening to the exercise on my laptop in the kitchen. And I kind of let go. I thought, well, this is probably not working for me. And of course, <laughs> as soon as I let go, something very unusual happened. So I had still a spark in my mind's eye and I was listening to Asia and I thought, well, do you know, I will listen to the end, but I don't think much is happening. My mind actually began to wander and then, guess what? Sparky threw me a ball and it wasn't any ball. So Asia was asking or suggesting that in the colour communication there may also be other packets of information, maybe a picture, maybe a word. So a picture came to me of a ball, it was like a pinky golden orb. Yeah and I had seen this before, I've seen this orb on my out of body experience and it oh it took my breath away well I even talk about it now I feel a bit shaky and the hair's going up on the back of my neck I've got all sorts of emotions I don't even know what they are coming up 
but Sparky threw me a ball and not just any ball. And then Asia said, now ask for a word. And something instantly came up for me and it made me feel a bit sad. And the word was old. Now I'm getting on a bit and I'm very aware of time passing now and the precious nature of time. But I also am aware that Sparky's time is passing too. Now he's seven, but we don't really know if he is seven. He's a rescue dog. And over the last six months, he seems to have been very tired and gray is appearing on his face. And sometimes you look at him and you think, gosh, it's a little old man there. And I know the last couple of months have been quite challenging emotionally in the household. And I think he's probably worn out. And that was part of what he was trying to tell me yesterday. So I have had an experience and Asia suggests this, this improves the practice. This is the first experience and I feel it's quite positive and I will keep going with it because it's important to me to at least try and understand if I am meeting Sparky's needs, if he has anything to say that I'm really not hearing properly and to feel the connection between us growing. So that's what was happening today and I look forward to what's up for tomorrow. The lovely thing about this program is there's something new every single lesson.